Alright, hey, what's up, people? Usually when you get my videos, you know that I'd be trying to do something funny. But I normally would not do this. But you know what? It's kind of like put a little bit of fire under my butt. I had to actually make this video a non-funny video. So, look. I usually do a lot of theologies research. I look deep into all aspects of theology worldwide. Christianity, Hebrew. I, I correlate everything, kind of match it up, see how it kind of pans out. Also, I do a lot of reading for years. I've done a lot of reading with them, quantum mechanics. And I'm telling you, there is a lot of crazy things. So I came up against my thoughts and I went across some other material I was reading and I ran into National Geographic Society. Now, National Geographic Society is one of the largest nonprofit organizations. All right, they fund, they make National Geographic happen on TV. So it's very prudent that they get as much money, save up money, any way they can to keep the program going. They're educational. We all know the credentials of them, National Geographic. Well, with that said, I came along uh, something within a lot of my reading and correlating uh, evolution and um, theology and where we really come with our understanding evolution. And something came across as far as National Geographic Society, humans, and apes. So I was just curious, all right? So let's click on it because they're saying right now, uh, within the latest research from 2002 even now 2014 they really compact a lot of information saying look man there's chromosomes that match to say that we are approximately give or take 90 to 96 percent maybe 98 percent um that of apes and primates and that our genos they, they match up so they're doing a really empirical work within crossing and comparing they look like so what's to say they are however so National Geographic, I came across. So then if you go into your search bar again, put in National Geographic Society, humans, apes, gorillas, you'll come up to like a big box where it will have that title and then it'll have other information. Click on that because underneath it, you'll see pictures. And what you'll see is something somewhat informative. You'll see this image that it has sorry it's not color it's not very well but it will do above that let's say apes and monkeys you scroll down more and you're like okay so then what they do is that after giving you this colorful detail of the apes and primates and, you know breaking everything down to monkeys then you come across information information background right here Sorry, it's probably not very good. Let me turn this real quick. So then, when you actually read this, it says this. Sorry, I hope the quality, uh, quality could have been a lot better. But, so, they inform you. So here it goes. Monkeys and apes are both primates. Okay, cool. Primates are animals for their known and also big brains okay cool they're smart they say smart but somehow scientifically within laboratories we haven't even concluded they actually have a five-year-old brain activity and function the way that they work wow they're so smart anyways um their eyes face straight ahead okay well, you know what forget about it we already know about that right let me get to the punchline Ooh, it says surprise humans are primates too Huh. Oh, humans are in the ape family. Chimpanzee. Dang. Well, they concluded that we are, so we must be. I mean, National Geographic says it, the Geno says it, so we must be. Well, they also conclude that we actually lost our tail. Like, it was irrelevant appendage to us, right? So... Why would we want to get rid of a tail if we had a tail? For those that do have a tail, do you know what you can do? You got all these groceries you got to take into the house. You got two hands and your tail. Oh, I can't open the door. Wait, let me use my back tail. They try to say we can't use it. What if your kid runs away? You can't chase your kid. You can grab his tail and pull him back. 
You imagine what you can do with a tail? What do you mean we don't need a tail? Anyways, you know what? I think a lot of this is crack crap. If you think otherwise, I like constructive debates. I don't like arguing and fighting. But if you believe that this is true, please explain evolution and how everything works. I think I have a great idea with the grand scheme of how everything works. But I'm just curious about you. Do you really agree with National Geographic and our chromosomes being 90 to 96 percent? Well, I don't know. It's chromosomes, I guess. It's good enough. I'm not smart enough. I guess they're the genius. We got to leave it up to the genius. So if you believe in evolution, however, prompt me to think. Tell me, why should I conclude the idea that you're right and science is right and I'm wrong because I'm only one individual? So if you believe in evolution, you don't believe in God, and you believe this, please put your comments under this video, and I will make another video and reply to what your argument is based on the theory and idea of what you, why you believe evolution is true, and we are monkeys.